Alright guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Mr. Top 5. So, Mr. Top 5 is a Fortnite YouTuber that basically just does these fake challenges and he plays with his friend Shadical, who is also a YouTuber quite like him, who also does these fake type challenge things on Fortnite. And they're on Fortnite, which makes it even worse. And we're going to be taking a look. And you may know Mr. Top 5 for this type of content. You better not hack me! No! You can't do this! Hey guys, it's Batman. I'm about to scare Shadical so hard with a Batman voice changer. It's time to pretend to be Batman. This is gonna end bad. Hello. First, what kind of moron would believe that Batman would be playing Fortnite? Since he's a superhero, why in the world would he be playing Fortnite? Second, what moron would think that Batman is real? And third, what would this even do to affect him? Why would he even get mad or like, be like, bro, you're so mean, you pretend to be Batman. Like, why would that affect him? So I, I just don't get his videos. You may also know him for this fake type of content that I'm gonna show you like right here. So this one's also with his friend Shadical. So it's like, I pretended I got a PlayStation 5 early, and he, the reason he has his friend Shadical be in these videos, so he has so-called proof, and he can ask Shadical, because Shadical's also in on this, so it's his so-called proof, but his so-called proof is also in on this prank, so he just, oh my gosh, I just can't, I can't handle this man. I think the answer to the question of can he improve his content is a yes. He plays a game that makes a lot of money on YouTube, which is Fortnite, but I think he needs to start focusing on more of what LaserBeam does. I'm not saying LaserBeam makes great content, but it's it's okay. And I would like to see Mr. Top 5 become like a clean version of LaserBeam, doing like some decently funny challenges, and maybe start focusing on one or more games that... um appeals to a bigger demographic of gamers like Laserbeam did starting to focus on Minecraft at the same time that he played Fortnite because that, uh, that appealed to some of the more serious gamers that don't like toxic children playing their game. Now we're going to be taking a look at where Mr. Top 5 started. So when I was researching back here, here is the video that he first made. So this video was a video back in season 3 of what the Fortnite TV really means. And so this video is basically just about the TV and saying no tilted. It was a three minute video, no clickbaiting, a pretty informational video, but he has totally changed his content from back there in 2017 to 26, to 2018 and 2019 to just making what I showed at the beginning of this video. So like this guy actually started off making good content I think I can go back to that last question that he can also start doing what he did but back then, like more conspiracy videos about Fortnite. Now what you're probably wondering is, Bruh Network, how did he all of the sudden transfer in a, to a good YouTuber to a bad YouTuber in only 11 months? So I'm going to be answering that question right now. Now, if we look at his content, all of his videos are around 10 minutes, as you can see right here, which is just what a lot of YouTubers do to get, like, max ad revenue and a lot of ads on their videos. This is one of the, one of the reasons why he is hated. Well, how does he stretch all of his videos to 10 minutes, you may ask? He repeats the same thing over and over, because I've been watching some of his videos for a while now just to see how terrible they are and laugh at him. And he repeats the same thing over in a video I kept count six times. And he also repeats different phrases also of different times. So that's another reason how he gets it to 10 minutes. Another thing is, is this suspense he puts in his videos. Like he's saying, he puts like, enter a text here, enters like a little text that says, I have proof at the end of the video. He wants everybody to watch and to watch over all of the ads so he could make 
more money, which is just a scumbag move. Just a scumbag move by Mr. Top 5. Now we're going to figure out when his videos started to become fake. So we're going to be figuring that out right now. Now his first ever video that was fake was from about a year ago. And it was titled, How I Won a Million V-Bucks in Fortnite Golf. So you already know he's starting to fake his content all the way back there. So that's his fourth video. So he's been going for a while now. So another thing that Mr. Top 5 is very, very, very hated for is this face reveal thing that went on for like almost the entire summer and into the first quarter of my school year. So he just kept on dragging on like six videos, like stay tuned for more face reveal videos, stay tuned, I'll face reveal next video kept on going for like six videos and he finally did face reveal i think like it was a week ago so at least he did that but this is just a scumbag move by him and mr top five if you're watching this please don't drag on stuff give your fans what they want and stop All right, so that's going to be the end of the video for you guys. And subscribe. Don't subscribe to Mr. Top 5. And see you in the next one.